I think we all know that AI is super useful. However, it gets much, much more useful when AI can access live data. Normally, AI can only access data that's been in its training sets, which usually cuts off at least six months before the model's deployed. So if you're using it in March 2025, then it's probably only got data live up until, I don't know, November-ish of 2024. However, with what I'm going to show you today, you can create a chatbot or an AI agent that uses real-time data from SERP API. Let me show you how that works. So we're in NA10. I'm going to go to chat and I'm going to say, what is the current price of the S&P 500? And it's going to take a second. It's going to use that SERP API where we're getting the live information. And it comes back and says, the S&P 500 was 5,572. And if we go S&P, oh, S&P 500, 5572, exactly. There we go. So we can see that this is now using live information. So this is a super simple automation. Let's get into how it works. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add a chat trigger. So I'm going to add a chat trigger. This is very, very easy automation here. It's just going to be a chat trigger going into an agent. So we select AI agent. And yep, that's fine. We want it to be a tools agent. That is okay. Then we need to add a few things here. So first of all, we're going to add our chat model. Now you can add whichever uh, large language model you want to use here, whichever service you want. It doesn't really matter unless you're doing complex things. But since it's not a very complex automation, you probably aren't running that many complex operations through it. So whether you want to choose OpenAI or Google or Anthropic or whichever you like, it's going to work fine. I'm going to use OpenAI in this case and use 4 Mini. Before I continue, let me just say that AI is moving super, super quickly these days. And if you're not keeping up with it, then you are going to be left behind. If you want occasional updates from me where I tell you only the most important things when it comes to new AI updates, especially in relation to business, then there's a link down in the description below where you can sign up for free occasional updates from me. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, then we need to add memory to it so that it can sustain a conversation and it can remember the last messages. So if we click on memory and then go window buffer memory, and I'm going to go 10. Uh, so it's going to remember the last 10 messages. If you want to increase this, you can increase this. But the more that you increase it, the higher the AI costs are going to be because essentially with that window, you're passing everything back into AI. Okay, then here is the bit which allows us to speak to real-time data because at the moment, it doesn't. In fact, let me show you. If I say, uh, what is the current uh, price of Bitcoin? It's going to take a second. And there you go. I'm unable to provide real-time data. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's fix that. So what we're going to want to do, let's close this. What we're going to do is add a tool, and this is going to be a SERP tool. So the SERP API, which is Google Search, but not just Google, but other uh, services as well. In fact, here on the dashboard, you can see that this SERP API is going to use the services of all of these APIs here. So loads of Google um, services here, but we've also got things such as Bing. I think we've got eBay here. We've got App Store. Um, we've got Yahoo, if you want to use Yahoo. We've got YouTube. So it's not just Google, but a load of other search platforms as well. So back over on NA10, I've already got an account. However, if you don't, you will want to add credentials. And the way you can do this is just come into credentials when you've added this SERP API and you will click on add new credentials. And then you'll go to the SERP API website. If you don't have an account already, the website will look a little bit like this. Sign up. They've got some free tiers, so you don't have to pay to start with. But if you find out that you're using it a lot and it's very useful within your business, then obviously you can sign up and it's relatively cheap. So when you register, it's then going to log you into your dashboard. And when you log into your dashboard, you will be able to see an API key like this. I'm going to blow mine out because obviously I don't want people taking my API key. Um, however, you'll see it just here, your private API key. You simply take that and put it in here uh, where it says API key on the credentials of this SERP API tool. I've already got mine, so I'm going to uh, close that. And you can see that that is connected. That's all working. That's fine. So I can now ask it, if I clear this, I can ask it, what is the current price of Bitcoin? Click go, and we should now get an answer. The current price of Bitcoin is 81700 And if we go Bitcoin price USD, 81714, is that what it says? It is, that's exactly what it says. And you can use this not just to search through Google, but as I said, any of these services listed here, you can use the SERP API to search through that and get information from that. So that's essentially it. There's way more you can do with this, such as incorporate it into a larger workflow or automation or an AI agent, or you could uh, deploy this as a web app. So either your customers could use it or your internal team could use it for whatever reason. You can give it custom knowledge as well. So it's not just using real-time data, but perhaps 
your company's data as well. If you want to see more complex tutorials like that, then please do check out my channel. I've got a load of videos like that there. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you've got questions, leave a comment down below and uh, subscribe if you do want to see more videos like this. Anyway, that's it for me. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.